Pacers power forward Jairus Walker went down with a significant ankle injury tonight in their Eastern Conference Finals victory against the New York Knicks. Let's break this down. It's subtle, but if you watch Cat's right side going up for the layup as Walker is attempting to block his shot, there is mild contact that just slightly disrupts Walker's center of gravity towards his right. His proprioception and landing mechanics are thrown off just enough to cause that right foot to come down inverted. If you draw a line that is parallel to his leg coming down from the tibia and measure the degree of inversion, the concerning thing is that this ankle rotates at least 80 degrees. Then as his body comes down, some if not the majority of his 235 pounds comes down on that inverted angle. Now the fortunate thing here is we don't see any evidence of a fractured dislocation because the right tibia and ankle joint didn't show significant deformity here and we didn't see the medical staff activate trauma protocol. And though he was helped off, we saw him partially weight bearing on that foot shortly after the injury. The common test we would perform in this setting is palpating for 10 tenderness of the posterior edges of the lateral and medial malleoli, moving upward six centimeters. These can be sensitive for picking up fibular fractures on the sidelines, which is a concern with this mechanism. The Taller Tilt Test, which tests the integrity of the low ankle and deltoid ligaments, and a syndesmosis Squeeze Test to test the integrity of the high ankle sprain structures. In Walker's case, his ankle inverts far beyond the average inversion injury. First thing you do in the locker room is an x-ray of the area to make sure that there is no fracture, especially of that fibular bone. Right? It would be common to obtain an MRI to determine severity. The majority of inversion injuries are typically found to be low ankle sprains. A grade one typically causes a player to miss a week. A grade two, which is a little bit more severe, can lead to about a month out. And a grade three, which is a severe low ankle, can cause a multi-month absence. And with these, we'll also assess for peroneal tendon involvement. Sometimes with severe injury, the tendon can rip out of place and even dislocate, which requires surgery. Hopefully this is a simple low ankle, and I'm sure we'll get more information on that today. Wishing Jairus a safe and speedy recovery.